You handled yourself pretty well at the pre-draft workouts. But that's not quite the same thing as playing with real men in the NBA, now is it? Now listen, we don't bring guys all the way out here because we don't think they can contribute to this team. We've got a good mix of veterans and some young players here, but we could always use some fresh legs and some game. You'll be running with the twos against the ones. So let's see if every GM in this league was wrong for not drafting you. Because if you prove you belong, all the talent evaluators were idiots. Oh, I belong, all right? Ain't no doubt in my mind, coach. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. Today, I'm bringing you guys the tryout video for the stat sheet stuffer. Yes, I'm trying out for the Washington Wizards. If you do not know this information, you may have missed my last video. And if you did watch my last 2K video, maybe you missed a little loading screen at the bottom of the video, letting you guys know that I was actually clicking on Washington. But all in all, guys, the reason that I came to Washington is because Paul Pierce is on his way out the door. The starting five for the Washington Wizards in the East is not a bad squad at all. And they needed the stat sheet stuffer. You know, they called my phone. It was like, look, man, we would love to have you in Washington. Come and try out. We need you here. We don't even care if you get an F, man. Come on out. We're going to put you on our team for this 10-day contract. Okay, I'm lying. Um, the reason why I picked Washington, because they were like one of the only good teams that was, you know, on the East that actually had some interest in me. So, you know, I'm trying out for them now. And just to let you guys know, this gameplay, you're not going to see like crazy dunks and alley-oops and putbacks and all different kinds of crazy stat sheet stuff and things. I'm just trying to get a good grade out here. I'm just trying to get this B minus so this team can actually choose me. You feel me? Now, another thing on my last video that you guys pointed out was my kick game. My kick game is vicious, I will admit, but I'm noticing that this little patch that they put in the game, patch 4, it actually fixed the shoe glitch, but not necessarily fixed it. It's more so you can't equip shoes without having the actual endorsement. So those little Kyrie One Brotherhoods, uh, I won't be able to equip them in game. I'm still wearing these uh, nice little generics on my feet, you know, all plastic. But it's okay, man. You know, maybe I'll try something different or, you know, maybe I'll actually, you know, try to ball out in my first season to actually get a contract with one of these shoe companies so I can actually get my kick game rocking. Now, um, another question a lot of people had was, who did you build your my player around? I will have to say I built him around a lot of different NBA players. Nobody in specific, but what I will say is my jump shot for my stat sheet stuffer will be Kevin Durant. His pull-up jumper will be Kevin Durant. His free throw jumper will be Kevin Durant. And I think uh, it's another shot that's Kevin Durant's. Can't figure out what it was, but yeah, it will be Kevin Durant. Anything that I can equip with KD, it will have the stat sheet stuffer's name on it. Now, um, another thing. What did you guys ask me in the comment section? Let's see. Oh, you wanted to know um, if I would try out to go to the Hawks. Mainly, a lot of people were saying the Hawks. And a few other people were putting out teams that nobody really goes to in my career. Well, what I can say is nobody goes to the Sixers. Nobody in their right mind would go to the Sixers. But the stat sheet stuffer might go. I might want that challenge, you know. I might want that challenge on Hall of Fame trying to actually get the Sixers to the playoffs, let alone out of the first round and even to masterfully think that I would even get to the finals. Like, I'm like Harry Houdini. If I could do it, it can be done by anybody, man. Trust and believe. If I got to score 100 points for 82 games, why not, man? I'd do it. But check it out. One thing that I will say with the Sashi Stuffer, I actually wanted to do this series a little different than the original NBA 2K My Career series that, you know, everybody else posts. A lot of people, you know, with their titles and stuff like that, they post like, um, kind of what's going on in the game amazing moments and you know a couple other uh misdirection type of titles but what i wanted to do i kind of wanted to make this like actual nba titles like if you go to the nba youtube channel and they have like lebron james versus pistons highlights with the d and like if he might have did something you know they'll put it inside the title but you know most of the time it's just like full highlights i kind of wanted to do that like you know david like nba 2k 15 my career dash uh david carter versus pistons highlights you know and have the d and probably have like amazing put back dunk or something like that you know or top 10 plays with 
David Carter, you know, or the stat sheet stuffer, you know, something like that. I, I just wanted to know what you guys think. Should I should I try this new format for my 2K videos, like the NBA format, or should I keep it how like everybody else does it, or how you know I've done it all along, like uh, for my first game. NBA 2K15, my career, first game in the NBA with the Washington Wizards or something like that. Should I do it like that? Or should I go with the NBA format? You know, I've been thinking about that for a while now. I just want to see some change, man. You know, a lot of people like change. They like to see different things. And also, oh, man, a big thing. I wanted to actually turn um, basket um, cuts, like after you make a basket and the camera cuts to your player, I want to turn that off. And I want to turn off the replays. I actually want to do all of the replays myself, which means I want to go in after every big play, press start, go into instant replay, get different camera angles, and, you know, put, like, the camera effects and, you know, all different kinds of effects on the video to, you know, make the production value higher. Or do you guys think that I should just leave 2K how it is and let them run the replays, let them run the basket cuts, and, you know, call a spade a spade? Um, another thing that I want to do is I want to change my camera view. I've been playing on 2K for a while now. I used to play on broadcast, and then I switched over to 2K because a lot of people like that uh, north-south look. And I changed that back in like 2K11, and I haven't changed it ever since. But I'm thinking about changing something over because with the stat sheet stuffer, I don't have to see the entire floor anymore because I'm a point guard. And point guards need to see the entire floor because of the passing. But with the stat sheet stuffer, I can run pick and rolls or put people in the pools and stuff like that when they're cutting and get easy assists that way. I don't have to set up entire plays. And most of the time, as a small forward, you're just running to the circle anyway. But um, I want you guys to vote on all of that. So uh, vote titles vote uh camera and vote um replays just put yes to the new stuff or no and keep it the old way so just put title yes camera yes and replays yes or put no be right back y'all where well, you headed oh the locker room shower up good I just hope none of that game you just showcase washes off. <laughs> what? Man, this stuff don't wash off. It's part of who I am. It's in my DNA, yo. Easy. Your jersey ain't in the rafters yet. Yeah, but? But you lit it up out there. And everyone in this gym, including the GM and the head man, saw it. All right, so what's that supposed to mean? It means if there's any way to get you here, we're going to do it. Now get out of here. We'll be in touch. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Move, man! What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Wizards have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity! But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours, to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season! We both live to breathe another day! You don't... You got a shot at being last in a long line of might events, and I'm probably out on the street, too. Living in this rat hole. Hold up. Rat hole? This is all I can afford, because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer-upper. Now pack your bags! We're going to the show! Yeah, boy! I'm going to the league, I got my foot in the door, and I'm gonna kick this sucker down, man! <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, this is my house you talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's gonna make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. He might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. All right, we're not even going to talk about the white stuff on my chin, but check out the interest that the Philadelphia 76 is having your boy. 
Uh-oh, we got a problem.